We just hey, learned hon. in the previous segment that the queen is not gay. The queen is almost gay. And he doesn't know what root vegetables are. I don't know what a root vet, but I, uh, but I, I will work on it. Work on it, girl. I promise you. <laughs> Keep going. Next week, I will be so gay uh-huh. that I won't even stand up to pee. How's that? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. What's going uh, on with you? Uh, so, first of all, can I just, before we get going, I have a Reese Witherspoon sighting. What? what? Yeah. my Stop the show. Uh, somebody in my family, a female who's not gay, went to this conference with SAP, which is some big company. I never heard of it. SAP. I don't know what they do. But anyway, she's like a IT person. And she was the, the speaker and um, Malone, uh, what is this? Malone, Maroon Five was the <laughs> entertainment. Malone, uh, and so Malone did she? Was the, yes, did she? Meet? She so she has a picture with her oh. Reese Witherspoon and um, uh, the guy with Maroon Five, Adam Levine. Adam Levine, sorry. Damn. And, and she said that she uh, Reese Witherspoon could not have been nicer, could not have been sweeter, and spent like thirty minutes with her. Uh, Isn't that nice? So was this a big, I guess it's a big tech convention. convention, tech convention. And she was the speaker, so I'm sure she got paid for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. But but, uh, my my family member, she uh, paid to be in the VIP thing, and she said that she could not have been. She said she was lovely and sweet and nice and served them refreshments. Now that's a good Southern girl. I need it. Barnes, somebody needs to get me. She said she has no wrinkles, like uh, her face. Is no wrinkles. Like she has smooth, liquid skin. I'd like to get up and investigate that. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> make it happen for me. Uh, Just she did say her, her waist was unbelievably small, like um, real tiny. Yeah, like she she's teeny really tiny. Yeah. Yeah. She's barely over anyway. five feet tall. That's what I mean. She is the teeny ultimate. tiny. When I think of her, I do think of her in spinner ways. You're going to spin her? What? You never heard the term a spinner? Yeah. (laughs) That is so rude. (laughs) Reese Witherspoon is not a spinner. If anyone qualified to be a spinner, it's Reese Witherspoon. (laughs) That is so rude. Five feet one? It's not. How do you know it's rude? You don't know what she likes. That's true. She's probably kinky. Oh, I bet you She is a drinker. Well, we know that. I don't know. We do know that. All All right, right. Moving on. Listen, 99X is supporting Bonnaroo Festival this weekend in Tennessee. Um, wow, what this crazy lineup there. I can't, how do they get the money to have these is what I don't understand. There's too many big names. Post Malone, who I find very attractive, I just want to say. And uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Cage the Elephant, Carly Rae Jepsen. I mean, on and on and on. It's just nuts how they have that many names in one festival. Fire is always fun. Do you go? I've been. It's crazy. I don't It's crazy. Camp. Not a camper. I don't camp either. Yeah, I that is not a either. sanctioned no. Barnes outing. No. I will watch I the would, feed. I would think <laughs> Leslie Fram would fly in on a helicopter <laughs> and land it. <laughs> right, and then fly Barnes. Yes. Yeah, and they have yeah. like fireworks going off. Here comes yeah, the queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Um, Al Front Theater, here's the gay event, is hosting a Golden Girls live show. Uh, Ginger Men from RuPaul's Drag Race, they reenact an entire Golden Girls episode where they they zing it up a little bit. Oh, my God, it's so much fun. You've got to come, Bards. Out Front Theater on the West Side. Did Didn't we talk you mention about this? this before? Yeah, last they've week. They've done it before. This is their second. No, no, no. That was, They've done it about six months ago. They have been asked to come back because it was a sellout performance. <laughs> anyway. Tonight, also, exactly. John, I know Barnes. I tried to get Barnes to say something. You would love it, Barnes. <laughs> okay. Uh, John Hyatt's in town playing at the Byers Theater in Sandy wow. Springs. Um, Byers is a pretty tiny place for John Hyatt, but um, what a great gay thing to go see. Uh, tonight, Center Stage is hosting Kevin Smith. Do you know who Kevin Smith is? Oh, absolutely. He, Kevin yeah. Smith, yes. Yes, he was Silent Bob. Jay and, yeah. He was the silent partner in Jay and Silent Bob from the movie Clerks. He, um, so I, you know, every week I do a hot person that, and I, I could not find one that I thought was attractive that was a singer, but Kevin Smith has dropped a ton of weight. Oh, he is hot. I'm looking now. him up right now. He is so hot. So he's doing, it's a comedy act. He's doing it at, at center stage, which is kind of small. Turns out he lost weight because he had this massive heart attack. And he doesn't even look the same. I just looked him up. So attractive. Wow. He's so attractive. But he, he almost died. And so he went on this, he weight lifts and, oh my goodness. Give me some Kevin Smith, hon. Anyway, listen, uh, tonight, this is pretty cool. Fish frontman Trey 
Anastasio and some songwriter, who I don't know, Amanda Green, co-wrote this play, this musical called, um, uh, hold on, hold on, Hands on Hard Body. It's um, about, it's set in Texas. It's about, it's a contest from a radio station. They have to hold on to these hot cars out in the desert until they, the last person that could stand in wins. That's what the play is about. And it's a musical. And the, the fish guy did it. It's supposed to be pretty good at Marietta Theater in downtown Marietta. That's pretty cool. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you remember The Rock of Ages? It was a movie, Broadway play. Remember that with Tom yeah. Cruise? Um, so the stage play is coming to town, downtown Marietta. Fabulous place to go catch a show and sit outside. And mm, I will say, um, I cannot go to the Marietta Theater. I did do an act there and was asked not to come back. So. No way. You were kicked out? Yeah, I was what? Kicked, I was kicked out of Marietta Theater. Well, I've seen your act perform on stage there. It, wow. it doesn't yeah. surprise me. Your, your act is a little aggressive. Those people in Marietta... Do not have a sense of humor. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, I was, I was, I was at that, but what I did it once. And so I don't even know if I can get in the front door. Maybe I'll go to one of these things and see. Anyway, you do have a presence, um, though. I mean, you're, you're a big guy. Yeah. Big oh. tall. You're a big tall I'm guy. Big, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, are you banned from even Who's... going to a show and sitting in the audience? That's what I don't know, Leslie. Oh. No, I was okay. not invited back and told I was not yeah. invited back to perform there. But do they have me up where I can't get in the front door? I don't know. Maybe somebody could ask, and I'll go to another event there. Um, listen, all right, Saturday, the West Side is hosting another one of those candlelight concerts. You've heard me talk about them. They're in, they're in Nashville now. They're everywhere. Yeah, it's becoming a uh, thing. It is a thing. So this week, it's 6, so they have two shows. At 6.30, it's um, the music of Beyonce, of course, single ladies. And at 9, Coldplay. What a weird, <laughs> two different, completely different people. Uh, it's This time, the venue is at... Uh, called Story Atlanta. It's on the west side right off of Huff Road. Very cute place. They have little eating places all around it. Um, and then I think, you know, I went to one of these. They're not real candles. They're electric. So help so, me with this. They just play Coldplay and light candles? The can- There's no real candles. There's just a few, but there the can- there's thousands of them. So it's a beautiful setting. Yeah, and they have like an orchestra there. That plays Coldplay songs. Oh, it's so very it's like, romantic. Okay. okay, we thought you meant there's like a uh, yeah. jukebox or like something. Like there's a couple <laughs> no, speakers. No, no. Boom box <laughs> and some big candles. Everybody, everybody whole, come on. The whole concept is this orchestra comes. Okay. And they play, you know, it's beyond. But they don't sing. It's, it's orchestra. It's, it's just very romantic. Yes, there's the music. Um, they need you know, to do that with beds. Just have beds out. <laughs> so Honestly. There is, there is a bar in Atlanta that is nothing but beds. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Is like that sounds like that if you're gonna break out the candles in the vocalist Coldplay, then throw out a bed and let's get oh, some I, partitions it's not going, a bad idea, girl. I, well, I tried to go to that bed place. There's just too many stains on this thing. I am <laughs> oh. not getting on a bed. It's disgusting, oh. Leslie. It's like disgusting. Like a mattress store. Well, have you been in out in Atlanta these days? These girls don't wear panties anymore. They wear thongs, which is not a panty. Not no protection. A panty. No and protection. And they get on those beds. Uh uh-uh. uh, no, ma'am. I'm not getting on a bed after a girl's been on it. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. No way. Uh uh-uh. uh. Listen, Sunday is Daddy's Day. You know that Father's Day. All mm-hmm. the daddies in the world, honey. And I have found the perfect thing to do for Father's Day. It's at none other than the Fiesta Plaza. You know where that is? It's oh, on Beaufort yeah. Highway. They are having a hot dog swallowing contest. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You're going to just says give I'm not me the gay. crown Who already. Who says I'm not gay? Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole day event where they're, they're having like, you know, you know, you've been by that place, food and bands and oh my God, it's packed every weekend. But the, the big contest is a hot dog swallowing contest. And if you win, if you win, you get a shopping. <laughs> I can't say this is a straight face. You do it. You get a shopping trip in the Fiesta Plaza. $50. You can do better than that on Cheshire That's Bridge. A, I know. I know. And you can get will, cash. I've done it. That's what I'm saying. I've got blah, blah, blah. $50 just doing that on my own. That's All where right. we had the Chili Peppers play our 10th anniversary show. Do you remember, remember that? that? Yeah, the International Ballroom. That's where no, that was, right? It was at Fiesta Plaza. No. There was a theater oh my gosh, right there. That's right. That's right. I do remember that. And they were all like, what the hell is this place? <laughs> it's the greatest place on earth. <laughs> if you've never got. been, you have to go. You have to go. Uh, listen, um, Aquarium. What the hell is the Aquarium doing? 20,000 beers under the sea. Saturday night. It's just a beer free for all. 
unlimited beer, $85, but they're also having um, liquor barns and food. Crazy, crazy. That's my last. I'm going to end with that. Beer drinking at the aquarium. How do you get Interesting. that? Interesting. They have tickets. Okay. You just buy tickets. It's ticket? 80, 80 bucks. That's they not have bad. all beer all over the pl- venue and wine and a buffet. Which again, do not eat a buffet in Atlanta. Have you seen the girls with the nails? No, ma'am. There's fungus. <laughs> You're on a rant today. There's fungus. Girls wearing thongs. I don't like the- these girls going out un- unhygienically. <laughs> no nails. They look good. No thongs. Yeah. Okay. No thongs. Okay. I don't girl. understand. Settle that. down. I don't understand those th- the thong thing. It's not right. Deep breath, mm-hmm. girl. <gasps> there you go. Oh. No, that's enough. You saw what I was doing it's with the bike, girl. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs>